Remember when you have a system of equations and you need to solve it one way or another, uh, one way is elimination. So that means you want to have either x or y to be exactly the same or exactly different. So if I'm looking for that, uh, number 3 here might be a good example to show. Because if I multiply the top one by 2, I get 6x minus 2y equals 4. Be sure to distribute the whole way. Now if I add these two together, notice what's going to happen with my two y's. I have positive and negative, so I have 7x equals, look at that, 7. So x equals 1. Remember we have to go back and plug that in someplace. So I might use 1 plus 2y equals 3. So 2y equals 2 and y equals 1. So 1, 1 is my solution. What's my other option? Well, what's my other option? So if it didn't say exactly elimination, then I have a choice. I might want to use substitution. When do I want to use substitution? When one of the coefficients is 1. That means I can easily make this into plus 5y by adding 5y so that x is equal to that. How do I use that now? Well, if I know that x is equal to 17 plus 5y, then I'm going to substitute it into the other equation for exactly that. 3 times 17 plus 5y plus 2y equals 0. So if I distribute, I now have 51 plus 15y plus 2y equals 0. Need a little more space here. So we have 51 plus 17y equals 0. So 17y equals negative 51 and divide by 17, y equals negative 3. Again, I still have to go back and plug it in someplace. So 17 plus 5 times negative 3, 17 minus 15 is 2. So x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. So those are your choices. Okay, so, uh, you know, this one could go either way. And remember the worst case scenario is something like number 4, where we're going to have to multiply both of these. So I'm looking to either make the y's the same or the x's the same. So given my choices, I might just multiply this one by 3, this one by 2. Sometimes we like to use negative for one of these to change some of the signs so that we get that. So that's a quick review of our systems of equations.